Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Very good. Nice. Nice. Good. Was it raining where you live? Yes, all day long. Really? Uh, in Lourdes, it was raining just like early in the morning, but the rest of the day was, was normal. So it, it was dry. So we will see how it happens tomorrow. Yes. Okay. So today is June 3rd, 2020. Um, do you guys remember the activities we did yesterday? I remember the, the war every other day. Uh-huh, good, good. Every other day. Every other Saturday, every other week, every other. And that is a, um, an expression that the same demand that we have in Spanish, you use it in English with the same frequency. So it's something that you guys uh, need to need to know as well. Every other, every other. What else do we talk about? About the passive voice using the by. Good, passive, vo passive voice using by. Now, let me ask you again, what is the passive voice? What's the function of the passive voice? Change the focus yeah, of the talking. sentence. Okay. And how do you change the focus of the sentence or the question or the negative? So when you use passive voice, what are you saying exactly? Uh, is it using the, 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 the past, past, past participle? Yes. Uh, the, the verb to be. Good. So you always need to include the verb to be and the form of the verb is always past participle. It doesn't matter which tense you are using. Um, you always need to use a uh, passive voice and you need to include verb to be and the form of the verb has to be past participle. Uh, what are the three forms of verb to be in present? Am um, is are. Am um, is are. What is the verb to be in past? Was were. Was. Was were. were. Was were. What is the uh, past participle of be? Been. Been. How do you spell been? been. B -E, -E, e e e n. Good. Now, what is the continuous form of B? B e i n g. B e i n g. Yes. B e i n g. So it doesn't matter which tense you are using passive voice. It is necessary that you um you include the verb to be and the form of the verb. Uh, always has to be past participle, very good. Um, so we spoke about passive voice, we spoke about the expression every other. Um, anything else that you remember about yesterday? We practice simple past, passive voice with simple past. Right, so we, we also practice the passive voice in the simple past tense, that is correct. So when you use the passive voice in the simple past tense, you always use was, were, in the past participle form of the verb. Yes. All right, uh, any questions or comments about yesterday? No? No, for a moment, no. All right, so let's start, let's start today with one exercise about a passive voice. Let me see, where is this? Mm -hmm. I think this is it. 
Yes. Do you see the image? Yes. Yes. You can zoom it. Not really clear. Okay. So we're no, going to. Better. Okay, we're going to be doing it by parts. Um, this exercise has four different parts. It has the positive, it has negative, it has the question form, and then they give you this so you guys can use your imagination. So um, let me see if I can um, take a picture of this. I should have, hold on. Okay, let me, where's my cell phone? So some uh, sentences, um, a woman is talking in some sentences, a man is talking. So it really doesn't matter who's the one speaking. Just, um, let me see, what are you guys? 9 to 10 p.m., 9 to 10, right here. Take a picture. And here we go with the first one. So I just sent you the, the image, the first one about positive. So number one, you know, what you're supposed to do, rewrite the sentences in the passive voice. Number one says, my mother makes cakes on Sunday. How will you transfer that to the passive voice? The, the, cake, the case uh, was, was made on Sunday by my mother. Okay, good. So you can, you can uh, include the preposition by and say the Cakes were made on Sunday by my mom. But remember, in a real life situation, sometimes it's not necessary to include who the doer is. So, uh, but sometimes you do. So I will assign you to be working in pairs. Uh, you do the positive first. We come back to the main session. We discuss the answers and then we go to the negative part. Uh, are the instructions clear? Yes. All right. So let me break out rooms. Let me make six pairs. And here we go.
or mm -hmm. uh, where? 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 Which one are you doing? The second one. Okay, so Your. I never wear skirts. So what would be the um, the passive voice? Uh, I have uh, some. I have a question. Yes. I have, uh, I have a doubt. Uh, what is the simple pass of the verb where? Is uh, where with a ed at the end? No, it's uh, no. the past tense is w o r e war. War. Uh, war. Yes. And the past participle is worn. W o r n. N as in Nancy. Ah, oh, okay. Uh huh. Mm, I okay. So, what would be the answer for number two? Excuse, uh, were never worn by by me. <laughs> okay, so you say skirts are never worn by mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Egg roll coffee in Brazil is the number. Was I don't know maybe maybe where because you stay use the word day use the word day. But this is the the they grow coffee in Brazil. Mm, but uh, you say in Brazil is only one country. Yes. And, and, and you put in Brazil now is the the object at the press, but it's only one country. I think it's a singular, but I didn't. So what would be the answer for number three? In Brazil was ground coffee. Okay. Now, but it's singular or plural? Uh, no, it, it's singular. It, it, you cannot count coffee. Coffee is considered to be non-countable. And everything that is non-countable is always singular, including uh, coffee. But it's for the coffee, not for the country. No. The, right. Uh, okay. So they say coffee is grown in Brazil. Mm-hmm. Okay. Coffee um, is grown in Brazil. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. But is, is, is it correct to say in Brazil was grown coffee? It's incorrect. Uh, uh, people would understand what you're saying, but it would be better if you say coffee, coffee. is grown in Brazil. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. See, it's bird, yes. Mm hmm Okay, now I understand. All and right. the number two, uh, we have the um, the sentences is a little a little weird. Okay. Of course, were weren't never. Or... Okay. Now remember that this exercise, when when you say I never wear skirts, which tense is that sentence? It's in, in present. Exactly. In present so, the, so the so the passive voice needs to be in present too. So how will you say that in the passive voice? Ah, but it's in the present too. Only only search to passive voice, no change right. the, the time. No, the, the tense. Ah, the tense, okay, the, the tense, tense stays the same. Ah, okay. Yep. Um, well, and the next. Hello. Hello, coach. Hi, coach. We have a question. What's the question, with, Mike? With with the sentence number two. Uh huh. It, is it possible to build a passive voice with this? Sure, sentence? sure. Now, number one, you need to identify the tense of the sentence. Which tense is that uh, sentence? I never wear skirts. Um. Present. present. Simple present. So how will you say that in the passive voice? Yeah, that's the point. 
I'm not, I don't find the, the, the way to build a... Okay, what is, what is the, do you know the meaning of wear? Vestir. Mm -hmm. Right. What is the past tense of where? Well, um, the past I tense know. is war. W O R E. Mm -hmm. And what is the past participle? It's worn. W O R N. Mm -hmm. So you will okay. say skirts are never worn. Skirts oh. are never worn. And then, um, okay. and then uh, you would want to say, by me. Skirts mm -hmm. are never worn by me. Okay. Uh, yep. <laughs> yes, yeah. I got it. All right, good. Mm -hmm. And the next, sorry, <laughs> yes. number three. Sorry. They grow <laughs> coffee in Brazil. What is the yes. past tense? Yeah. Okay, what is the past tense of grow? Grow. Grew. 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 And the past participle? The same, grew. Grown. 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 So okay. how will you say el café es sembrado en Brasil? The coffee is, is, is grown. grown. Is grown. grown in Brazil. Good. Brazil. Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Sure. Was, was not made. 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 Was it made? Was it made? Was not made. Hey, teacher. Yes, sir. We have a question. Yes, ask me. About the number one. Uh huh. In the negative How form. The net and the num number one of negative form. Okay. So cakes were not made on Sunday by my mother. No, no, we are in negative. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. Let me see it. The next, the next pictures. All right, hold on. Let me... Um... My father doesn't drive me to school. Okay, so... Hold on. Let's see this here. Okay, which number? Number, yeah, one. number one. My father doesn't drive me to school. What is the negative? I am not driven to school. I am not. Uh, I am. Wow. I'm Look not driven this. to school. I walk or I catch the uh, bus. We are using simple present. Uh, in that case, when you see doesn't, that indicates okay. that is simple present. So the tense needs to stay the same. So if ah, you, okay. so, uh, you have the negative sentence, you have to change it into the passive voice. Okay, okay. Right. But here, when they say don't or doesn't, is in present, right? Right. Right. And that's, that's one of the things that, well, that's the first thing you need to identify. When you see the positive, negative, or question, you need to identify the tense of, 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 the, of the sentence. No and sentence. then change it to the same tense, but in the passive voice form. Ah, okay, right. I understand. Okay. Yeah. We so, understand so, so you, so you don't need to change the tense; just change the form. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. Okay. All right. Of okay. course. Good. Thank you. All right. Thank see you, you later. Glasses. Yeah. Um, the glasses. Glasses. Wasn't. Wasn't. Okay. What number? Hi, what coach. number are you doing? I have a question for you. Uh huh. Ask me. <laughs> yeah. In the number, in the negative, in the number two. Okay. Wait, I don't wear glasses. Uh, <laughs> we need to. Yeah. Okay. What is the question exactly? How, how do you relate the sentences negative in the passive voice? 
by example, number two, I don't wear glasses. Okay, so what is the glasses? past, okay, what is the past tense of wear? Yeah. What is the, the simple past form of wear? Wear. Not exactly. Wear is irregular. Mm, so, okay. the, so the past tense of wear is were. So for were. example, you say, uh, yo fui en chores. So you say, I wore shorts. I wore shorts. The past participle wore is worn. W-O-R-N. So in this case, you say glasses. Yes are not worn by me. Mm. So, I'm... los lentes no son ocupados por su servidor, if you want to translate it. So, you say, glasses are not worn by me. So, the first thing you need to do is identify the tense of the sentence, negative or question, and then stay on the same tense but change the version and put it in the passive voice form. Okay, but in the number one, it's a little bit uh, more difficult because if my father doesn't drive me to school. Uh -huh. And... So you say, I'm I not, I'm, I'm not, what, what is the past tense of drive? Uh, draw. Draw. And the past participle? Draw. Driving. Driving. Driven. 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 Okay. Driven. Drive. Yeah. Driven. Drove. Driven. Okay. So I tell you, Josue and Kim, I'm not driven to school. I walk. A mí no me llevan a la escuela. Yo camino. I'm not driven to school. I walk. I'm not driven to school. Uh huh. By my father. Right. Okay. So you say, I walk or I catch the bus or. Uh, I use my bicycle. I, I mean, get... Josue? So remember, uh, you need to identify the tense. And then, like I told you yesterday, uh, if it's positive, negative, or question, you must use the past participle of the verb. So drive, drove, driven. So you said, I'm not driven to school. I catch the bus. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see it? Now, uh, and like I said also, uh, you use the passive voice to indicate how a process is done or if you want to give general information, but you don't have to use passive voice. I mean, you can always use active, like the one that the exercise is giving you. So do, do you understand okay. the, the explanation? I think I can. Okay, pra practice I more. I can try with and... number three. Okay, sure. <laughs> they don't make tea in Iceland. In Iceland, um, yes. Iceland, okay. Tea hmm. is... is that Made. It's not made. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, tea it's is not made not, in not, Iceland. It's not in Iceland, but by them. Right. Yeah, you can say by them if you have to, but if it's a normal conversation, you don't need to say by them. But if you're talking about one group of people in particular, you say, look, but. Um, uh, tea is not made in Iceland by them. So, good, very good. And, and that's how you do it. Okay, yes, I understand. All right. Now, now I'm sure. All right, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jose? You mustn't use don't. For Why not? Because because the pronoun is is me i in this case mm -hmm. i the negative will would be i am not or i am not driving i will be 
have to change. Which which number are you doing? The auxiliary. <laughs> the first word in negative sentences. Ah, uh, when you say <laughs> my father doesn't drive me to school. Yeah, well, I was saying to my class classmate that in this case. I don't case, know if it's correct. Uh, I don't drive them to school by my father. Okay. Or, or I have to change doesn't with verbi. Yes. Remember, people. yes. Remember that whenever you use the passive voice, it is imperative that you use verb to be. So verb to be has to be there. Okay. So instead of saying, I am driving. I am not driven. I am not driving to a school by my father. Uh huh. I catch the bus, or I use my bicycle, or I walk. Okay. Right. So okay. you said, I'm not driven. Not driven. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, coach. This is impressive. If you uh -huh. look for the past tense, you had to say, I didn't. We didn't own a TV. Which but number are you doing? Number seven. seven. Uh, first seven. part or second Negative. part? Negative. Negative. The second part. Oh, second part. Number seven, we don't own a TV. The last one. Okay. Yep. Okay, so how will you yes, transfer is. that to uh, passive? Uh-huh, uh a TV is not... On. By on. us. TV? By us. Yeah, if a you TV need to say not by, us. by us. Yes. Okay. A TV is not owned by us. So we are using the simple present. Right, right. And, and that, is, uh, that is something that you always need to do. Um, when you take the exam, uh, you need to mm -hmm. identify the tense of the sentence, question, negative, whatever, and then transfer in the same tense but you, you need to transfer to the passive voice. Okay, because I was, uh, we were doing this, this exercise, and, but we did it in the simple past. And I, and I tell them that, I told them that these examples were in the simple present, but exactly. we, have, we have this uh, confusion. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, it, it, everything is in the simple present. And, and I forgot to tell you that everything had to stay in present. But if the, you change the, the, it, the, uh huh. The two exercises, the negative and the affirmative forms, were uh, in a simple present, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. But if you were able to change it to the simple past, that's even better. Yeah, but in sometimes we. Uh, for example, the, the the number seven of the negative form, uh -huh. uh, we 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 did it in the simple in the simple past. Okay. But uh, at the end, uh, I I found that it was necessary to to add the the by to because in that way the sentence uh, the sentence has more sense. Exactly. It makes more sense. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Uh, are there any questions or comments about uh, the exercise? We had difficult in the second one or the first block. Okay. Now, what is the past tense of where? Worn. Okay. So you have where, wore, worn. So W-O-R-N. So how do you transfer number skirts. two to the passive voice? Skirts, skirts. Never, never worn. Skirts are, are never ne worn. Exactly, skirts are never worn. So let's say you visit your friend, you go to her closet and you see a lot of pants. 
You say, no skirts? And then she tells you, yep, skirts are never worn. Oh. I never yeah. worn skirts. <laughs> now, no. skirts are never worn. Skirts are I never, never worn. worn. Yep, yep. Any other one that you might have felt that it was a little bit difficult? No? No. All right. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, um, do you have any questions uh, regarding the exercises we just finished? I don't have a question. Okay, anybody else that needs, um, and, and like I said, when you're using the passive voice, it doesn't matter if you're using it in the simple present, simple past, present perfect, whatever, you always need to include verb to be and the form of the verb always has to be past participle. Always, always, always. all the time. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Kim. What is the exactly meaning of own like a verb? Oh, uh, which one? Own. Um, own is... It's, it's another form to say tener algo, poseer algo, ser el dueño de algo. Okay. Own. But it's not a verb or, or it yes? Is, it, it is a verb. It is a verb. Uh, but I don't know if it's regular or irregular because uh, I don't know what is the past participle. It's, it's regular. So you just put ed. Okay, great. Good. Yes. And when you... So for, exa for example, I say, I, ha I have my own business, it's a noun. Right. Okay, thank you. Yes. When you say my own business, it, uh, you're saying, look, I'm, I'm, I'm my boss. I am my, my, I am the owner of the, of the business. Yes. It's my own boss. Yes, any other questions or comments? So what is the, if we go to number one in the affirmative part, what is the past tense of make? Made. 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 What about where, number two? Worn. 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 Where worn. is worn. present? War worn is in past. Worn is in past. Worn. Warn. Warn. W O R N. Uh, Warn. W O R N. What about number three? What is the simple past and past participle of grow? Grow. Grow. Grow, grow. grow is the simple grow. past and grown is grow. the past grow. participle. Okay. Uh, speak. Spoken. 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 Um, visit. Visited. 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 Sell. Sold. 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 And borrow. Borrowed. 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 Yes, with the with the e d at the end. E d. Borrow. Right. Oh. Any questions there? Borrowed. No. Okay, now we go to the next part, the negative part. It says, my father doesn't drive me to school. What was the answer for, for that one? Who remembers? I wasn't driven to the school. Okay, good. And that's a very good um, um, observation. So uh, I forgot to tell you that all the exercises were in, um, in the simple present, but if you were changing it or conjugating, to another tense, that was even better. So, uh, one more time, uh, Mr. Escobar. Um, I wasn't driven to my school. Okay, good. So, I wasn't driven to my school. I walked, 
I used my bicycle, I took the bus or whatever. Okay, what about number two? I don't wear glasses. Glasses wearing. Glasses were. By me. Okay, so glasses were not worn by me. So glasses were not. If you if you are conjugating from present to past, so glasses were not worn by me. What about teacher, number? Yes. Teacher, uh, in this in this sentence is a uh, present tense. Yes. Yeah. In this case. Is yes. Yes. Ah. So that's why I said I forgot to tell you that everything was in present. So your mission was to stay in the same tense but transfer the information to the passive voice. So, uh, yeah, but it, it's, it's in simple present. Everything is simple present. Yes, is it correct? Is it the glasses is a, is a wear? No, is glasses, wear by me? no, glasses are not, are not. worn uh, by me. Yes, because glasses, glasses is plural. Ah, uh, yes. Glasses, glasses are, are, aren't worn aren't by me. Worn by me. Ah, exactly. Okay. Yes. Coach. Yes, sir. Uh, I have a question. Yes. And the first one uh, is is in present, simple, simple present. Right. But the classmate said was. Right, right. And, 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 yeah, and, and that's the comment that I made. Um, you were supposed to stay in the same uh, simple present, but if you conjugated and you changed the tense, that was fine too. So, but but the, the, the real answer would have been, I am not driven to school. I always take the bus or I walk or I use my bicycle. Yep. And but I are correct. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, the, the the two forms are correct. And if you were okay. able to change it to pass, that's even better because the, the challenge is more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 I have a question about I, I for example, what is the meaning the, 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 the whole sentences? Is I was driven, uh, I was driving driven. Now driven, remember, driven. you have drive, was, yes. drive, 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 drove, driven. 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 Yes. So uh, yes. Hitler said, I was not driven to school. A mí no me llevaron a la escuela. Yo agarré el bus, yo caminé, yo llevé la bicicleta. I wasn't driven. Uh, I wasn't yeah, driven. I wasn't. If you change it from present to past. Now, if it's general information and you want to stay in the simple present, you said, I'm not I driven was. to school. I walk every day, or I use my bicycle. Yes. Thank you. Okay, good. What about number three? They don't make uh, tea in Iceland. Um, tea wasn't made in Iceland. Okay, no, tea not. wasn't made in Iceland. If you're transferring from present to past, that will be a perfect answer. Tea is not made in Ireland. Yeah. Tea, if, if you're staying in present, you say tea is not made in not Iceland. Made. It's not made. But if you want to change it to the simple past, you say it was not made. <clears throat> was not made. Yeah. Was not made. So it, it doesn't matter if you're changing it to another tense. Just make sure okay. that you're using the correct form and, and it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about number four? You don't give sweets at Halloween. And the Halloween sweets are not given. Okay. So sweets, sweets are not given at Halloween. Oh, sweets, yeah, sweets are, given at Halloween. are not, given not given at Halloween. Given. Okay. So you have give, gave, given. Give, okay. gave, given. Okay. Uh, any questions in number four? If no. we change it past tense, we might say sweets weren't right. given at We're Halloween. Halloween. Exactly. Exactly. Sweets weren't given at Halloween. Yes. Thank you. All right. Number five, she doesn't teach French in this school. 
French is not taught, not taught in this school. Good. French is not taught in this school. Very good. Number taught. six, they don't taught. buy magazines. Taught. Magazines are not bought. Magazines are not bought. Very simple. And number seven, we don't own a TV. TV person own. A TV isn't owned. Simple. And the message is exactly the same. You say, look, we don't own a TV. Or if you want to say the same message in the passive voice, you will say the TV is not owned here by us or by my family by my mom my mom or so you can change it all right uh any questions uh, anyone no all right. maybe if, if you repeat again the answer of number six please uh magazines are not bought well, magazines um, are not are bought now remember, yeah. to use the passive voice, you always need to include verb to be, and the form of the verb always has to be past participle. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Veronica. And no problem if you put by they at the end. Negative. By them. By, by them. 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 Yes, them. by them. With possessive. Uh, that is called the object pronoun. Uh, okay. Them. Him, them. her, them, us, that is object pronoun. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Sure, you can put it at the end. Magazines are not bought by them. Sure. Any other question or comment? No? Oh. <clears throat> All right, so let's, um, let's change this here. Um, okay, give me a few seconds. Internet is a little bit slow. Okay, no can you see my, my screen? No yet. Not yet, okay. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not All right, yet. let me... Share screen. Can you see it now? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. So yes. here we're practicing with uh, passive voice as well. What is the answer for number one? Many crops are grown. Are grown. Are grown. Are grown in Taiwan. Grow, grew, grown. Remember. Uh, when we are in a real life scenario, you use the past participle when you least expect it. And um, so it's something that you guys need to be uh, reading and studying every day. What about number two? Some crops. Are consumed. Are consumed. Mm. Yes. Consumed. Some crops are consumed. Consumed. Locally. Mm-hmm. What about number three? Are cultivated. Are Other crops? crops are exported. Are exported. Are exported. exported. I exported. Exported. Good. exported. What about number four? Rice. Right. Is, is, is cultivated. Is cultivated. Very good. Is cultivated. What about number five? What about number five? Okay, what what is okay, what is the past form of catch? Caught. How do you spell caught? C O U G T H. Good. So a wide variety of seafood is Caught. 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 Yes, it's caught. Caught. So if you go to El Puerto de la Libertad and you start talking to the ones that live there, they will tell you, look, a wide variety of seafood is caught here. What about number six? Many people 
Are employed. Are employed. Are employed. Are okay. Employed. Are employed. Employed. Okay. What is what is the past participle form of employ? Employed. 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 Okay. Employed. Remember, employed. 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 So employed. in that case in employed. particular, you pretend that letter E does not exist. So you yes. say the past tense of employee is employed. employed. Good. French employed. and English. Employed. French so and English? It's spoken. R R spoken. 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 Are spoken. Are spoken in Canada. Now, number eight, the U.S. Made up. It's made, it's up. made up. Made it's up. made up. Made up. It's yeah. made up of 50 states. 50 states. Okay. Yes, Number nine. A lot of chips. Are racist. Are racist. Okay. Do you say. Okay. Are raised. Raised. Exactly. Are raised. Are raised. Remember, you pronounce the ED. Only when the termination yes. of the verb is T or D, like want, wanted, need, needed, investigate, investigated. Only when it finishes with T or D. Mm -hmm. All the others that are not T or D are pronounced with either a D or a T. So raised. So a lot of ship is raised, raised. in raised. New Zealand. Okay, and the last one, cars and computers are manufactured. 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 Okay, manufactured. are manufactured in Korea. In Korea. And just keep something in mind that sometimes when we pronounce the ED in the past form, Sometimes we get the sensation that the person is not pronouncing the D or the T sound, but they do. It, it is pronounced. So you say cars and computers are manufactured in Korea. Manufactured. But when you're speaking fast, sometimes you get the impression that the ED is not being pronounced uh, the way it should be. So, but it is. Iris, do you have a question? Yes, just I have a job with the bear eat. Okay. What is the correct one? Oh. Is eight or eaten? Okay, if eat is the base form, the simple past form is eight, eight. like the number eight, eight, and the past participle is eaten. 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 So you can say pupusas are eaten. In El Salvador, every day. In Oloquilda, <laughs> right. Eaten. Okay, thank you. Yes, all right, good. All right, so remember, like number eight, it says the United States is made up made of up. 50 states. Now, you know that um, from those 50, two states are separated. What are those two states? Alaska, um, Hawaii, and, and Puerto Rico. Uh, Puerto Rico is, is a territory, but it's not a state. Oh, yeah. So, oh. Alaska and? Alaska and... Um, it's in the Pacific Ocean. Hawaii. Ha Hawaii, Hawaii, exactly, uh -huh. Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> so, Alaska and Hawaii are in different places, but they are states. They are states, yes. Uh, All right, um, any other questions about these uh, exercises? No? no. Okay, so remember, uh, this is one of the topics that uh, needs a lot of practice. And that's why it's very important that you guys join the class every day. So even if you're a little bit quiet, just by listening, um, your speaking gets, uh, gets better. Okay, um, so let's change. Let's change a little bit. 
Now let's talk about reading. Do you guys read? Do you read? Yes. yes. No. No, okay. no yet. Not yet. What kind of reading do you Just do? Bible, teacher. <laughs> okay. Coach. Yes, sir. Twitter. Just a uh, suggestion. Yes. About about a little book named uh, the Trips of Gulliver for fifty cents. It's it's helpful. Really useful. Okay, and where do you buy it? Online? And no, no, no. I uh, bought it before this pandemic. Okay. But it helps if you have sure in your basement. Sure. Your basement. Yeah. Uh, you know, like um, I, I tell my students that uh, going downtown San Salvador to buy books is a really good option. Number one, because you will find books that you're not going to find anywhere else, except in those places where they sell secondhand books, magazines, whatever, and they're really cheap also. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So you get, yeah, because uh -huh. every, okay. every, everybody knows about the trip of Gulliver, but I uh, found, I was very surprised because there are four trips, very important trips, trips he had. Right, right. Yeah. Right. So can, can you mention um, the benefits that a person gets by reading? Um, Me? You learn some extra vocabulary. Okay, you learn vocabulary. Knowledge. Vocabulary. Knowledge. Um, what else? Good. What is General it? Good. Um, you read grammatically correct. Sure. You know, when, when you read, you know, there are many benefits, uh, including the ones that you guys mentioned. So you improve your vocabulary, you improve your, your grammar, uh, you your, knowledge. your knowledge in general. Oh. Um, you know that, that a person that reads, they, they speak better and they express themselves better than someone that doesn't read. Why does that happen? Why does a reader speak better than, than someone that doesn't read? Because they have more words. Okay. They have a lot of topic to talk about. Exactly, exactly. So yeah. you, you're like, oh yeah, I remember one time that I was reading about that topic. So you, you, you have information. So you learn vocabulary, your grammar is good, your grammar is better. So there are d different advantages, right? <clears throat> So, do you read in English <laughs> or just in yeah. Spanish? Yes, in uh, English. In I English. made we the articles. To read in English. Okay. Now, when you read, do you read magazines, books, newspapers? What, what do you do? What do you read exactly? I read maybe articles of Forbes. <laughs> ah. Okay. Anybody articles. else? Or another articles. information about books? Right. No. Now, how much are you supposed to understand when you are reading? Because I can give you a book and say, look, uh, here's a present from me to you. But when you start reading, you feel that maybe you're a little bit lost. Uh, so how much are you supposed to understand? In my case, maybe, maybe 50, 90%. maybe 70%. Okay. Yeah, Okay, so, you know, experts, they said, okay, you need to understand between 90 or 95, but 95. you say, yes. look, when I read, I, I understood 70 or 60% of the book, but I felt good. So, I mean, you don't need to understand every single word because the rest of the information will give you the meaning of it. So you don't need to understand like everything that is there. So, um, we're going to start with a reading exercise tomorrow. Okay. Uh, do you have any okay. questions about today? No. no. Oh, all right. It's so, all, all right, good. So once again, thank you for making the time and the space. So we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. You guys have okay. a good night.
Good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. All right. All right. Have a good night. Good night. Have a good one. Good night.